Hey everybody, today we're going to try something in Photoshop where we put a custom shape and we fill it with a photo. So I've actually grabbed um, a texture. This is gold foil. Um, this will give you kind of a neat effect. You can use this. Uh, I've shown you how to put a photo inside of, uh, of a word and now we're going to put it inside of a shape. So what we need to do is on the toolbar we're going to go to the custom shape tool. The default tool is a rectangle, so a lot of times you'll just see it like this. If you hold the button down, you'll see at the very bottom a little blob. It's called the custom shape tool. Up on the top toolbar, it will show you, um, a, usually the default is an arrow, but the last time I was doing this I used a butterfly, so that's what it shows here. If you click this arrow, it'll show all the shapes. Now, if you're not seeing them, you may only see just a fraction of these shapes. Go to this little gear here and go to all, show all the shapes. And it'll ask you, do you want to um, replace all the current shapes with all of the shapes, okay? Or you could say append, which just means add them to the list. Either way, just say okay and you can get them. I've already got mine so I don't need to do that. I am going to look for a shape that's pretty solid. So really anything that's pure white here is going to work pretty well. If it's very thin, like this paper clip, all you will see is the your photo is going to be inside those thin lines. So think about that when you choose something. I'm going to try to make something that looks like a medallion, like I want to have a gold medallion. So I'm going to choose this for example. Um, it shows my shape here when I've selected it. I can just kind of click off and just say okay we're going to create the custom shape. Actually I'm going to Command Z because I, I want to just drag it out. So you just drag it out like this. Now I have not let go of my mouse. If you hold Shift it keeps it proportional. If you hold down the space bar you can move it where you want to but all without letting go of your mouse. Once you let go of your mouse it's over. You can't move it. Um, make sure this says path and not shape. If it was a shape I'll just show you you're, what you're drawing is a solid line and that's not what we want. We want to make sure that it's an outline. So it's not shape, it's a path. Okay, um, once I've got that there's a little button here that says make selection. This is great because what that does is it turns it into a selection, it turns on the marching ants. Now all I have to do is unlock my background just by double clicking on the little lock, say OK, now I want to select inverse to put the marching ants around the outside of my thing and I'm going to hit delete and there it is. Done. Command D will deselect the ants. You can use your move tool to move it around. You could also get a text box and say, you know, write number one gold star, whatever. Make up some award if you wanted to. But there's your gold foil in there. You could also go to effects at the bottom of the layers palette we could add a stroke line so just go to stroke you could put an outline around it or you could do a bevel and emboss or you could do you know it, you can play with any one of these things a drop shadow if you wanted it so um, you kind of play with it as you go in here like for example if I want to click on this so I get the tools I click on the name of it and it will change the tools over here but when I get it the way I like it, I say OK, File, Save, and it's done. I want you to make two of these. All right, give it a try.